Welcome to It's Hot in the Kitchen. Yeah, we're going to make some. What are we making? We're making chicken. Creamy mushroom balsamic chicken. Ooh, Ooh that sounds fire. What is, what, uh, Dad, are you going to make a drink or not? I'm going to make some drinks. I, I don't know what. I just realized I didn't have any rum. So I had a plan to make just a hurricane or two. And uh, we're going to have to substitute some uh, vodka in lieu of rum. I think it'll be fine. Oh, something else. Vodka and rum. That sounds bomb. We're going to get fucked up. It sucks, guys. We literally set up all this stuff. We're going to have like, the TV set up for my parents to watch videos. And literally, YouTube was down. So. Oh, yeah. Just to, uh, we go on Twitter just to find out YouTube is down. And we were high asses looking at the TV like, man, why is it not working? This is stupid. And then it finally was like, we're keep re- like refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. And it was like, literally, YouTube is yeah. down. We're so like, I felt kind of stupid. We're like switching lie. to Wi-Fi, yeah, switching like, to airplane like, oh mode. Oh, my God, dude. You know? Man, we have an internet. We're like using the neighbor's Wi-Fi. But, right. you know, just to realize the... Yeah, no, it's an outage. Uh, it's all outage and internet. And then now we can't do anything. So this is what we're doing now. We're doing old school podcast style where we're just going to talk. So and we're going to make some food. My mom makes some bomb food and my dad too. But usually my mom. But what are you cutting up there, mom? Lately. What are you doing right now? What are you cutting up? I'm chopping the onion. Okay, so nice. onion. Did you want an onion added? Uh huh. And that, one, that, that little tripod thing, my mom is very challenged. She's going to lose a battle with one of these things sooner or later. But you can pull it closer to you, Mom. That one, this one's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. Boom. She, she, Running. So, I'm yeah. a little challenged. Yeah, she is a microphone challenge. She never wants to talk into the mic. It's super frustrating. The whole freaking podcast, I'm just worrying <laughs> that either Bodie's going to take out my camera or literally something's going to happen because of my mom's mic. But we're good. We're going now. So the Dog hasn't been in here in an hour. I know. All of a sudden, here he, he has to come in. Oh, wait, hold on. He did come across a deer when we were uh, on, our, on our walk yesterday. Yeah, it was like a deer. And I was getting and, fat. Uh, yeah, he, and then I had to put him on his, on his leash, and it was, it was a challenge. Oh, dude, he pulls yeah. so hard. He's annoying. Oh, my God. And it was, but it was sandy, so he couldn't get a lot of traction. Mm-hmm. But I saw the deer, and I saw the direction it was going. Man, he had his nose up in the air, and he was, <laughs> like, on it. Wow, was it, like, grown or, like, a baby? It was, it was a smaller deer. I mean, I saw it probably couple hundred yards away mm-hmm. running and i saw the direction it was going as soon as he got up in that area he picked up the scent and it was on it was probably you know a 60 70 pound deer right was the deer scared yeah it was running oh yeah it oh. would, it would yeah. outrun bodie all day yeah yeah I for think. sure i'm just wondering if it, like it would take Actually, on another dude, animal honestly would it would it take on know. another he, animal he's, he's fast. Uh, he's pretty fast and he's pretty strong that dog there is psychotic you know, I don't know. That dog, he's just a different level. He's like, he's a great dog to humans and everything, but like. He's a rescue. That, yeah, he's so a rescue, we, but that dog we is. Got, we're not too sure about We do have the video of him uh, chasing the possum on the. Oh, on the yeah. Fence. Oh, oh, oh yeah. We could have that. Yeah, but he's super fat now, kind of. He's got a little chubbier. Yeah. But uh, he's still there. He's still he's at a pandemic weight. He's been. Uh, we're working on it, though. He's right here him and I are doing eat. a bunch of walking. He's trying to eat a fly He'll right now. He'll eat anything you feed him, especially anything. bananas and strawberries yeah. are his favorite. Yeah, he was oh, a no, rescue. Oh, so come we, here, don't, come here. we don't know how so long he random. fed himself. Yeah, he's, he's, <laughs> he's actually losing some weight. He's gotten fat, though, in the last few months, though. So. But he'll definitely eat anything. Anything. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, well, yeah he loves a banana. I'm going to be making some asparagus tonight. He's taking out, though. That's good, though. Super simple. You just grab your asparagus, break off the ends, and put olive oil on it, a little bit of garlic salt, and Parmesan cheese, and it's amazing. And you're gonna bake it or broil it? I'm gonna. Then I throw it in the broiler until it's golden brown. Oh, that sounds awesome. How hot? So, oh, you well, broil it on high, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I think with my mom, we just get a clip on mic for her because she <laughs> will not get close to the mic. It's okay though. I love you, mom. I'm on the mic. There you go. Shut up. Oh I, my should God. Just, I should just sit back and commentate for her. 100%. She cause... is now putting the asparagus in. Yeah. The <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She's now dicing up the yeah. asparagus in the levels. What's it called? Dribbling? She's dribbling. She's dribbling. She's dribbling. olive oil. <laughs> and covering it with Parmesan cheese. Uh, do some the Parmesan cheese and, uh, is the best part. Hey, break it uh, over yeah. the uh, microphone. Yeah, break it over the microphone. People love that crap, Mom. It's food ASMR. Yeah. We're missing out on viewers. Throw the asparagus away Bro, and eat the... You gotta be quiet. Oh, God. Wow. That's so, like an orgasm. That was amazing. Oh, oh golf yeah. shot. That, was, that Yeah, I did kind of like a golf shot. I will say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sus. Well, we, you know what we should do one time? 
is we all should do like a, a Twitch live thing of them trying to play Among Us. That's a game we can all play on their phones. Dude, you, and we can all stream it and my mom would play because or we could try to get viewers to want to play with us. And we'll if, do a whole if, Twitch stream. <laughs> if only Soldier Boy plays with us. What Dude. are we going to play? What game? It's, it's called, so it's called Among Us, right? And it's a video game where like you're, there's 10 crew members in the ship. You kind of walk around this like little guy. Is that Clue? It's like Clue. Yeah, just like Clue, but you're walking around doing the whole Clue thing. And you're just like either in the beginning of the game, you're 10 crew members. Two of them are imposters, so they go around and kill people. And the other eight, we do like these tasks that are all around the cruise ship. And they do enough tasks, they win. And if the imposters kill more of the people than imposters, they win. So each round, you go around and kill people and then walk away. And then you're at each a color, you know, like blue, green, red, purple, right. whatever. And so if you kill a guy, like you'll kill someone and then walk away and be like, dude, where did that kill come from? And like, oh, storage. You're like, who's in storage? Like, oh, I saw purple walk through there. And then purple was be like, I was there. What do you mean? What do you mean? And, but they just got to lie through it. And it's so much fun. It's like a, a live murder mystery game. Yeah, like a lot of people play it because they used to play this game called Murder. Like Have in, you ever seen me play a video game? But like this that? is not. This is one of these games that you would yeah, actually you play. play. Uh, solitary. Oh, yeah, shut up. Solitaire. You're like a solitary pro. This yeah. woman Spider will play solitaire, for hours solitaire. on solitary like a psycho. What do you play? Who like plays solitary. Uh, you play long? like uh, Bejewel. <laughs> I don't know. know. No, she's a god at solitary. She's like, I gotta be my scorer. <laughs> I That's remember that shit. Of, that's a lot of cheese. It's yeah, mom's good. Brain mom. games. My mom's adding always too much cheese, but I don't think it's always the right move. So when has it been too much cheese? No, actually never, but you know I just, yeah. it's always a thank lot. You, thank yeah. you. I yeah. Like By the way, Bodhi just almost took out all the shit just right here Jeez. by getting a fly. He just tried to attack a fly what and literally almost took out on? all the equipment right here. Oh my God. This dog's crazy. I love He's him. such an idiot. He's so stupid. I love him. He's like a dog perfect for our family. We're not the smartest, but we're there. We're good he's, enough. He's, he's not We're pointing good. out a fly right now. Oh, yeah. He's a there he goes. <laughs> he's not the smartest. <laughs> he's not at all. He's our, the least smart dog we've ever had. Pointing? That's funny. Uh, out of all the four German short hairs we've had, it goes Chelsea, Buddy, Hunter, and then him. But Hunter, like you said, it was occasionally very, 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 very smart. He just was annoying, you know? So, but I want to get another one. I saw a puppy today. I was like, man, if I ever move out, I'm going to get a German short hair. That's weird. He had a, he had a tail. Yeah, long tail. He didn't have a yeah, short long tail. tail. It's longer. Cut. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Hunter's was longer. Right. I was, and I like. I do right. like. Yeah. That. If I, got I thought it was one, cool. Right. Be a longer yeah, one. It's different. I want. I want to get. Like, he's just a cool dog. Bodie's a good boy though, but he's just too hyper. Bodie's like, hey, well, I'm Hunter just, was I'm, from a backyard breeder. That's why yeah. he had the long tail. But he was an amazing dog. Bobo. Yeah, he's. He actually made a lot of money on. Him. Mm -hmm. yeah. But still, Bodie's a. <laughs> Bodie's like, hey, we get to where we're going to walk. He's like, hey, I'm just glad you brought me here. See you later. Yeah, bye. Bye bye now. Yeah, this is where I leave you. Good looking out. That's how the last owner probably got him out of the, the oh, pound. Yeah. He probably came from New York. You <laughs> know what I mean? Every owner he New got is like, all right, peace out, bro. I'm out of here. I'm from New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Why he's so I'm yeah. from California now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a California boy. Yeah. <laughs> he, did, hey. he did come across a pheasant yesterday. Oh, yeah. What'd he do? And uh, when I point, it was cool. And oh, he did? got up and yeah, way neat. And, uh, it would have been cool to shoot it in front of him, but I, I, it's, hunting season's not done open till oh, next Saturday. Right, right, right. You're a quail hunt, right? Yeah, quail, quail dove. Yeah. That's so annoying. Oh, well. But yeah. That's so funny, though. Bodie, he, he, so he actually did point, huh? Yeah. That's crazy. I was like, holy crap. I mean, oh, it's like in their blood, right? Yeah. My buddy and Hunter were like, they hated each other, dad and son, our old dogs. And like, literally, when they would get together, it was like a freaking. They're a cover two and everywhere. <laughs> it's yeah, like cover if, two. If one would point. It was called honoring a point. Right. One would point. The other one would point. He doesn't even know what he's pointing about. Mm -hmm. Like if one of the dogs would take a poop, the, the other dogs thought he was on point and they would go on point. Yeah. It's it very crazy. strange. Weird. Really strange. They just like reacting because they know they're in the hunting mode. It's like so animal like, instinct, oh, you know? It's like, we don't smell it, but you must. You might. Yeah, well, you, you might be on. Because you're on point. So we're going to honor that point. Yeah, right. That's actually crazy. So random. That's I cool know. though. I know. Whenever you take the dogs like coyote hunting to find the coyotes, they do that, right? They, yeah, they let them run around, and the coyotes actually. I've seen some videos chase after where the then. coyotes come in and like play with the dogs, like they're playing with these guys' dogs. That's crazy. They, the dogs chase each other, right? I mean, I like play, but not aggressive. Right, it's right, right, really right. Strange. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, it is. It is really creepy. That's like, dude, the coyotes are fucked. They eat all the cats. Yeah, that's the problem with like the pheasant population. Quail population is the number of coyotes and 
raccoons and uh, as i say raccoons you know. probably get eaten all day long by coyotes yeah right, well, raccoons are pretty tough right and then yeah. they'll go up in a tree and they can they can escape by right climbing a tree but a bunch of them they won't do it no but a pheasant and a quail they they nest on the ground so they yeah they're fucked they don't stand a chance yeah they're yeah, fucked, they're fucked. <laughs> that sucks you know turkeys are big and there's they're, they're yeah turkeys will mess you up so yeah they're tough and, yeah and, uh, that's why they're there are so freaking many of them there's now. so many oh, i don't know God, i didn't shoot them dude i was at the uh the park playing disc golf uh, the other day i swear to god i've never seen geese this freaking big the, he was so there's a goose back there that's huge right no 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 there's one that was <laughs> big, double him he's a straight park goose you know yeah, what i mean that's bread and popcorn goose. oh my god his neck was like this big yeah. and i was like god damn oh, summer no. bread with They're those probably uh, Easter geese, those big oh, white ones oh yeah i think i don't but know no, this one it was, it was like you know they look so pretty i guess they look like, like purebred i guess but it looked hella big i don't know it was so i was walking next to it, i was like god this is the biggest goose i've ever yeah. seen my buddy's like what i was like this is the biggest goose i've ever seen right here and it cheetos and, and shit. they didn't give a fuck we we're walking a foot away from i could have grabbed them bread and cheetos yeah, and crackers they, yeah they're just, they live at the park up in auburn it's real cold yeah. up there and they just stay up there so it's a whole flock of them they, they shit all over the fucking tea pads and oh, they're shit. Horrible. horrible they're the worst when they first started coming into the prison they would land on the main yard at Folsom prison and it was oh. pretty neat yeah and like, we'd oh. sit and watch them and there was this one he had like a white head somebody said it was a emperor emperor goose and they're uh, from like Russia, pretty uh-huh. cool. But somehow he got hooked up with this this flock of Canadian honkers. Yeah. But you could tell all the honkers, and none of them treated him right. Yeah, like fuck you, they're bitch. Like, no, you're you're now yeah. whitey. Get out of here. And he got too close to him. They he, they chase him. Right. And, and when he took off, he took off differently. He had a run on the ground uh-huh. where they could actually kind of jump off the ground a little bit. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, he was kind of a different different. So he guy. like hit the barbed wire a little different. Like, they're they're all flying up, and he's just like ah, bam. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, he was. And now they're the prison is inundated with Ooh. with geese and there's honker shit everywhere. Well, everywhere. Would you eat a goose, Iody? Hell no. I think you would. I'm good. You're we a jerky out of them. They're super good. Uh-huh. We know you should have a segment where have Odie eat some weird shit because I think you would. I, I think wouldn't. you would. No. Shut up. Yes, you would. I don't why, know. Why would Odie beat weird shit? Because you know Odie. I've never eaten Odie. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen to this shit. <laughs> I never we were, seen We were in high what, school. What, what have you, you like a bacon eat? wrapped uh, Twinkie? No, he ate oh. salmon. What what eggs? Eggs? Salmon, egg, and a sandwich. On a burrito. I up. Uh, on a burrito. Yeah. It I was so up. gross. And then he was skateboarding. Was Is that smoked salmon, dad? That you had. No, it's good. That's good shit. Yeah, it's cool. But... Uh, it was that's funny. He was it was fucked up. It yeah. was funny because yeah. he skateboarded, did a trick. We're doing like a skateboarding line on our phones back in the oh, day. He does a trick, lands it. Like, oh, that's sick. We're like filming him. He's going, <laughs> and he's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, as he's skating, like, dude. It's it so was so mad. funny. Hey, what's your mom doing? Oh, yeah, mom. Rumbling. What are you doing? I am browning the chicken. Usually, you use chicken breasts that are uh, deboned, but we like chicken thighs with the bone better. I think it has a better flavor. Usually you would tenderize it and um, fry them for about four minutes each side. Uh-huh. But I'm going to just brown them. And um, when they're done, I'll remove them from the heat and add more things and then put them back in. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Have you ever, have we ever made this before? Maybe. 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 We've been having, this is a, we're just. Uh, where's our drinks? Are we trying stuff out? Oh, we can't be. It's okay. I've been wanting this. I'm yeah. Let's try it out. Yeah. If, hey, if it, it there's does, nothing I cannot make. This is not the perfect cooking show. This is the no, the really no, decent. <laughs> there is nothing I cannot make. Right, and I agree with that. But I'm saying we're not perfect, though. We're not fucking Martha Stewart on steroids here. We're kind of. We're there. We're just. What? The, where's our we in this? Okay, I guess she's <laughs> no. I guess she's bigger and higher than Martha Stewart. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, it's like I'm roasted. <laughs> Damn. To get that but, segment. Yeah. So what she do too is like I can edit mom when she every time she does her little cooking stuff. I can edit it where it's like and put into a whole one minute or two minute like cook how to cook it thing. You know what I mean? Like yeah, clip be smart. Out, yeah, clip some stuff. Right. You know. Like a little <sighs> Your outfit stars. though, bro. Like it's just when are you gonna stop wearing Palace? Like, what's what's gonna be the next? Uh, you know what's what's into Odie in twenty when you're twenty eight? Kirkland t-shirts. Kirk, you're gonna go to Kirkland only, huh? Your whole fish be Kirkland pants, Kirkland. Dockers. You wear Dockers. Kirkland. I like Kirkland. Or you know, Kirkland. like you should, you should just start dressing like the Stead Brothers cover art Kirkland with the t-shirts, huh? like a button up with the vest, everywhere <laughs> you go. 
Long Should I get a perm? A perm would be fine. I'm just kidding. Ah, dude, that. I'll pay for you to get a perm. 100%. I'm good. That That'd be weird. honestly, but Odie, Odie, imagine, that sounds weird. No, no, no. Imagine your profile picture with your perm, bro. Hey, so perm. Yeah. In, in the, in the uh, early 80s, late 70s, everybody had perms. Right. Except for me. Because uh, I had does. cool hair to begin with. Right. But everybody was getting perms. I think we could do it at home. We could when do it I, at, at when home. I was. I was, driving, so I was 16. Those are, I'll both get perms. Yeah. I was 16 we'll years old and I had my niece who was like a year and a half. Uh-huh. And my brother in law was getting his hair perm, which was not a manly thing to do, but everybody had perm hair. And my niece <laughs> fell out of the car in the middle of his perm and rolled down the gra- on the streets. So we had to take her to the emergency room. So it was not good. And I was only a kid. What? Right. I want to get perms crazy. though, dude. We should both get perms. Oh, no, dude. Bro, that'd be so funny if we had pictures like this. <laughs> Tom Selleck perms. Right here. Right. Hey, dude, that'd be dope. No, 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 no. Let's get a perm and get a baseball, baseball team. Ready, bunch. Uh, okay, that's cool. Shorts. That's I'm okay with that. Hey, dude. That, I like your idea. See? So listen. Baseball team, trash shorts. Yeah, bro. we'll have to have a whole photo shoot with these really, really <laughs> funny yeah. ass outfits. That has outfits. to get a perm. Some high socks. We we'll just get a whole back right. green screen background. We're good. Whoa, no, 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 leave me out of this. It's like no, white snake music that. video. That so would look so awkward. It's a funny story. Oh my God. We were out to eat one night, and we could hear them talking. And I kept saying, Mike, Mike, Mike. We're like, what? And my niece started yelling over, saying, does Uncle Mike <laughs> dye his hair? No. Yeah. 58 years old. Still got it. Damn. See, that's a Serbian gene, bro. That's what's right. up. No gray. But imagine us, both of Perns and my no. dad, all wearing the same three outfit like this. You know what I mean? Like really 80s. <laughs> as it's t- uh, hot in the kitchen, like art thingy. You know <laughs> why, what I mean? Why, why don't you like reenact that family photo you, you sit on his lap, dude? <laughs> that would be actually. <laughs> 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 you gotta do that now. I think that shit's so sus. <laughs> sit, sit on his lap? <laughs> <laughs> That's sus. <laughs> He has to grow the mustache oh, again. Dude, dude, that was so funny, dude. I have to do it. that, bro. I gotta do it now. Hey, oh. Hey, we got some shooters. Some shooters. <laughs> what the fuck am I wearing? What am I, what am I, what am I wearing? That's I'm funny. Look. Oh, dude. Look at the little Ewok, That'd bro. That would be so funny, though. Let's be real. You, you didn't have a choice then. Oh, my God. No, I'm saying Oh, is it this wall right here? No, 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 it's my uh, nannies. Oh, it's no, nannies. It's not my sister. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's dope. Woo, these are yes. good. Man, that's so funny. Okay. Hey, what is this called? Oh, what's that called, Dad? It's kind of a hurricane ish. It's kind of a hurricane instead of rum. It's um, vanilla vodka and uh, pineapple vodka. We gotta, give it, we gotta give it a new name, though. Yeah, I gotta come up with something um, like. Uh, Bourbon Street Alley or something. Uh, or the Trump <laughs> that's our Bourbon Street. The, the Trump stomp. The Trump stomper. <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> the, you're fired. I like you're that. You're fired. Ooh. Hey, this is good. Oh, dude, I forgot that. So I should stay in my pocket. So I don't give a fuck. So it was so funny to me that this, some girl was a super Trumper today and messaged me, or messaged Nick, messaged me the story reply, and she was saying North Carolina won. And then <laughs> I, Nick sent me the post of her saying it on the story, like a story reply. Like, here you go. I clicked it and I went to her story. And then <laughs> I wrote some just funny shit. It wasn't even that bad, actually. I just said, like, old guys are just, I don't know why people, old guys are so, like, I don't know, in love with these, like, America's so in love with these old dudes or whatever. Well, we just got a hot young guy with some big dick energy or something stupid. And I messaged her that, thinking Thank I messaged you. it to Nick, right? And it was Nick, cause like I was like, oh shit! As I'm getting my dentist, getting my teeth like grinded Bro. down. Can you recall that or like? <laughs> no, uh, it's, so, it's like I guess he could. It to the, like to the wrong person. I had to delete it in time, but I sure he saw it, and when I, <laughs> I didn't notice it because he messages me, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> what did she say? I didn't, I, didn't, say. I didn't even reply. I apologize. I mean, <laughs> I don't give a shit. I mean, it was just funny. I just, it was like, I fucked up. And that was like, I get my teeth grinded up. I looked down, I was like, Katie, oh, you know. Mm. Dang, I gotta beep that. Shit, no, I did I that. I, 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 like I text my friend who was driving with a coworker, who, and I thought it was just her and I texting. Right. 
and he was actually on the same text. And I said, sh- no, nah, I just like, hey, uh, how's the driving going? Question mark. I go, are you getting seasick yet? He's uh, all usually all over the road or something. You're right, right, bad driving. Yeah, and yeah. And she didn't even reply. And I thought, huh, I wonder why she didn't reply. And then I was like, oh. 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 I go, just kidding. Oopsie. Was, it, honestly, <laughs> I think I'm dyslexic in that not knowing <laughs> what I just type shit and don't look. I just yeah. go, did it send? And that always bites me in the ass. You really should learn never to type something and then just click send. That never is it good. Should have a delay, right? They should be like you're you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Hold <laughs> yeah. on, hold on. You're an idiot. Slow down. It's you're like stupid. A half hour later, it comes back and says, "Hey, <laughs> don't want to send this, <laughs> dumbass. You need it, this." It should be like, uh, "Do you sure you want to send <laughs> it? Sure you want to do this, bro? <laughs> positive, dude. Oh my god, I was like, uh, it wasn't that bad. I mean, what I said was true. I was like, I was, I just wish we had us some hot president. That's all, but we're good now. I just want some hot guy that like girls want to bang next. How about that? Not, not the Buddha jig. I'm down with but dudes want to fuck too. That's fine. I want to do. I would. I always wanted him in because I thought it'd be hilarious. I know. The first man of the you know. <laughs> Trump and he, would be and he's so got pissed. rainbow flags everywhere. Yeah. And yeah. The White House is all. Uh, well, you know. he represents a lot of big per, uh, population in the United States. Yeah. He no, was, I, he was I, by I really, far my favorite Democrat. Yeah, right. I, I really didn't mind him being gay. To be honest, I, I know. No, I, I didn't could care. care less. Didn't care. Super smart. I don't care what right. Anybody is. Right, me either. And so I suppose like, somebody smart. Yeah. And he's a Rhodes Scholar. So is Cory Booker. And, t- and well, you know, I number two. Any of them. I would have taken any of them. Number two is Cory Booker. Mm-hmm. You think he's the pitcher or the catcher? I think he's, uh, I don't know. He seems like he's, man, I don't know either. That's a hard one. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a coin flip. <laughs> Just, that's so funny. It is. That's a coin flip. Uh, I never really thought about it. I don't know. What do you think, honey? Yeah, I I, don't, uh, I didn't really think about it. Oh, I know. Yeah. But now that you brought it up, yeah, I know. Sometimes you you don't know because the guy you think is a catcher is a pitcher, and vice versa. Oh, it's just no. personal preference. Right. Oh. Maybe they're flippers. <laughs> flippers. Oh my god! But I don't know. What do you think about that, Odie? I'm a lo- I'm at like at a loss for words. <laughs> 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 Odie does everything. He he's, he lives with his crazy ass wife family, and probably is just like all the time. Like, what the fuck do he's I have to ruined. deal with every day? I feel bad. I know. I feel bad. <laughs> How's that drink? It's, it's, it's hella it's good. Really good. I think he's Odie's a little tipsy actually more, now. He's lived with us a long time. Oh, well, forever. But I, he's yeah. I he, think these drinks. As long if you get all the good shit, right. and then you shake it in a martini shaker, it's good. Right. All the martini, the martini shaker. I think. Did you guys buy that? Yeah, your mom oh, did. Okay. <laughs> no, I was gonna say no because I was like, me and my friends like went to a party back in the day. I thought that was the one we stole when we were really drunk. That sounds horrible. I didn't steal it. Okay, you're a good person. I forgot. Somebody did. Though. So it was. I think it was one of our friends took one. We were really hammered, and then he's just next thing you know, he's like, "Why the fuck do I have the shaker?" Because <laughs> he was making drinks all night with this guy's like dad shaker, probably. And the next thing you know, you were so drunk, and he gets in the car. He's like. Oh, I got the shaker, I guess. Like, He's fuck. Like, I don't know so, why. He took a... Sh- I don't know. He it was took random. A, he took a shaker and a... Uh, he was a, so a drunk. A fire yeah. hydrant hose. Right. Really? Right. And, and an ashtray. And then we had to give back the hose because, like, this is stupid. Yeah. But that's bad. a shaker. We give it back. So we're, like, super <laughs> drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the shaker. Right. Right. We gave back the shaker, but we gave yeah, back all the hose. We felt bad. It's like, what are we going to do with this like, hose? We drove back with, like, duck. Dude, that's fucked up. Like, yeah, we gave back the hose. Like that might be the shaker because I don't remember buying it. I don't know. No, I think he took it back. I think he took no, it. He it's, did all, buy it's it? ours. Yeah, I, think I bought it for you. Right. The kids bought yeah, it for yeah. you for right. Christmas. When you- it's probably well, that's not, just a funny story. It, from it's, it's, it, I don't think it's in this. That's yeah, sixteen-year-old me story. So it's ten years ago. It's like ten years. So ago. I was being, being an idiot. I'm just saying it was funny because like we got like I never. I was actually like, not even partying with you guys. Why did you take it? <laughs> So you guys came back here. He goes, I was and, like, why did you take that? Yeah, the hose. I was like, why did you take this fucking hose? What are yeah. we going to do with this? Goes, I don't know. And he's like, oh, dude, I'm going to probably bring it back. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's I'm so gonna funny. I'm going to make the noodles. Oh, the noodles? Making homemade noodles. Egg noodles. Woo! That Italiano. Yeah, this thing says. You a little Italiano girl. No, uh, no YouTube. He speaks some Italian. We take to Italy. Because <laughs> my speaks Spanish, so we could go to Spain. I don't even know how to. How you do you figure speak it out, Italian? Odie? You should Google Translate, Odie. You're a beautiful little man. You figured all this shit out. R- uh, Rosetta Stone. Rosetta Stone, dude. Do people use that shit? Yeah, Rosetta Stone. You guys good. use that? 
Yeah, Italy, Italian is really hard, I think, though. Italiano, I want to say Italiano. We're Italian in 24 Italiano. hours with Rosetta Stone. So you're Stone. putting everything oh. into the bowl. Do you usually you put it into the flour, oh. though, right? Yeah, it's two and a half cups flour, half cup milk, tablespoon of butter, pinch of salt, and two eggs. Um, what's it called when you... Uh, <laughs> stir them? Eggs, stir them. What do you call them? Uh, beat, beat them. They're beating beat, eggs. Yeah, beat that shit. Not beat that beat. meat. Not it was just <laughs> God, dude. Jesus, dude, chill. <laughs> oh my God, Dad. Uh, anyways, all right. So Hi. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Yep. Hey, can you move the mic over so when you guys talk, you guys start talking? It's easier to move now, huh? Yeah. See, that's better for mom. Dad needs it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We talking, we chilling. Do you know the other day I saw this guy riding a skateboard and he had like the wrist thingies on and then the elbows and the knees, knee pads, you know what I mean? And as a kid, like, you know how I always think it's funny how it's like, oh, those guys are super lame. Like he's protected his whole body and shit. Bro, as an old guy, I think I, could, I would do that. I'd drop in if I had all that shit on. Like into a quarter pipe. Yeah. Oh, like dropping in a Because I'm a yeah. pussy, bro. I'll yeah. be honest. That if I scrape sense. my hands so I have a or my elbows, I, I mean, yeah. If you don't, I'm a grown ass yeah. man. I'm scared. We should do it. There's I'll, I'll drop in. There's people who wear helmets, bro. I, 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 no, no, no. I mean, I'm talking the whole nine. It's like 2020, I have bro. A question. Like, I'm 2020. Yeah. It out. What? What's a bracelet for, anyways? This is a survival bracelet. Oh. And Where did you get that from? A, it's made of a parachute cord. And I believe it's 25 feet of parachute cord. Oh, so you could use it for if you were in a survival situation. You would disassemble the bracelet, and then you have that as a survival tool. And you hang yourself because you're so oh, sad. Shit. <laughs> Send her cord out. And, you're just such okay. a fucking nerd. Where are you planning on going? You're such a nerd. I was hunting the other day by myself. <laughs> just my dog. <laughs> and he doesn't have a thumb or any thumbs. You'd have, you'd have totally ate him yeah, first. He wouldn't be much help. I'm telling you right now, in a survival situation, <laughs> you'd be the worst he would dog. cut me loose so fast. <laughs> he'd be gone. Oh, yeah, gone. I'm this going guy's to not feeding me. Screw yeah. him. Is he going to get help? No, he's just. Yeah, he's just screw this guy. I know where to go. Yeah. Hey, good luck with all that. Yeah. yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Boy, come here, boy. No, hey, um, he would come get help for lie, us. Dude. He loves us. I'm kind of. Oh, he's awesome. What? We so, think. Um, Hey, so you need the you just mix all of it together in this big sticky ball. The past and the past. Some of the past. Oh, okay. Oh, girl. Yeah, it's just some. Uh, oh yeah. Some flour. The flour. I need some more. Sh- flour. Ooh, the sugar. Sifter. If there's sifter. More flour. Flour. Flour, bro. I'm an idiot. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, uh, what's that uh, TV show where that dude, like, uh, he survives in the wilderness? He's like Starman? Australian. Uh, sir- no, Bear Grylls. Bear, Bear Grylls. Man vs. Wild. Ma- Man vs. Wild, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, they took that off. Because yeah. hey, he, hey, he got caught in cheese yeah, and shit. Because exactly. like, he was, like, in Brazil. And then he was, like, in a hotel. And then they went back out in the jungle and like, shot Costa, the next it week. It was Costa Rica. Oh, Costa Rica. Whatever. Oh, he, yeah. he was taking a break. Can you blame him? Everybody needs a shower every yeah, day. Yeah, dude. dude I get it. Take a break, I'm not against it. He's a badass. He beat my ass. I'd be like. But I'm just saying, like. Come on. Come on, don't be that guy. Like, we're out in the wilderness and we're just like living here and we're just like, we're like barely surviving here. Got a, like a skunk. I ate its asshole. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we get it. It's like, we that, get uh, it. It's like the James Corden uh, right. in the car. They're singing. Right. It's not even driving. It's, 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 it's a trailer, trailer driving. Driving. It's a trailer. It's so upset. That gets pulled. I get so upset by that kind of stuff. Right? Oh, dude. I, I was in a Costa Rican jungle for about. <laughs> two hours right and it was it was so hot i couldn't believe it right we didn't bring any water and we hiked all the way down to the ocean and there was a public like a public restroom with a hose bib sticking mm-hmm. out of the side of it no other place to get water we gladly drank out of that thing all day oh my god i was just i was so dehydrated you didn't bring water and uh yeah you're not supposed to drink Public water. Yeah, yeah. Right? I it's mean, all bad. Like, bottled water. water. Most yeah. countries. Yeah, of course. When you get sick. You get sick. And there right. was the days that the monkeys, um, Costa Rican family was there having a birthday party for a, I think I had a five or six year old. And as they gathered up in a circle, held hands and sung Costa Rican happy birthday, okay. uh, 
about six monkeys <sighs> in, just jumped down out of the trees and attacked their table. And they had handfuls of birthday cake, oh, all the shit. food, and just no destroyed shit. it within a minute. It was completely destroyed. That's a fucked up. You, you need like a uh, one guy with a bat and oh just my God. fuck Somebody him up. Somebody should stay there. We weren't close enough to go. Man, right, 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 wow. right. And I remember the little boy standing there just bawling. Right, right, right. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> this big old flat um, sheet cake was just right. demolished. Had the little, little monkey tracks. Monkey hands it. and yeah. shit. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, true story. That's that was dude. crazy. That's crazy. Like, we don't see that happening at the park <laughs> <laughs> in America. You're the type of person. That's, that's wild. You're the type of person, though, that would have a monkey as a pet. Why? No. Why yes, would, you I would. Don't, yes, I don't you fuck would. That shit, you would have a monkey as a no, pet. No, bro. And you'd be dope as fuck. Monkeys you'd be are like kind your of best scary. friend. I don't no, know. Oh, dude, Some hey, of them look kind of evil, dude. Right. Hey, we you wanna, can't have a monkey. Like, no, a monkey, uh, monkey. I would not want a, a monkey like monkey, bite like, my face like, or Ventura. scratch me or anything. No, no, no. It's Ventura no, one. Not no. like a whole chimpanzee. Nah, bro. No, like still, a little little good. baby one that's like, ah, good I give you a dollar. No they, monkey pet for me. white face monkeys. Oh, yeah. yeah. See? And we paid, we went on a tour, a monkey tour into the mangroves. They throw shit in the boat. And this guy was calling him. He was going, hip, 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 hip. And, and we're like, we're like hey, we we'll only paid 20 bucks. Yeah. And the guy brought beer. We're like, we're good. Fuck. Oh, yeah. It's worth it. it. This is worth it. Like, this is the most money I've ever seen. Yeah, we're not going <laughs> yeah, to see any monkeys. And all of a sudden, man, here they came. And they were climbing all of our heads. That. We oh, yeah. We there's, there's a picture of my photo. dad all yeah, over. There's a photo. Yeah, the yeah, monkeys on the, photo. the number one thing they wanted was fresh water. Right. They give you water. The monkeys. The monkeys. Yeah. I bet you have a cap on our heads from head to head in this boat. Crazy. That's cool. insane. We should go to Costa Rica. We should it's, actually go to Laos first because you speak Thai kind of. And then we'll, f- you know. Go to Thailand, Laos. Laos is you sick. Speak Thai? Barely. I, I can understand it. He understands it, but can't speak it. Move it closer to dad if he talks because it's kind of far away. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, I would understand the tone if, like, if we were in trouble or something. Right. If something wrong, you'd know it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I can, like, my mom. Yeah, yeah, my mom's yeah. yelling at me right now. Mm, I know. I know. He said. What's funny though is that when I was with Odie and his mom, I was like, "Man, is she mad at you, dude?" It's like, "No," he said. She's like, "I miss you. I love you." And I'm like, "What the fuck?" It sounds she's like yeah. yelling at you, um, but it's not. It's just how yeah. their dialogue is so intense, you know. Like, uh, it's like holy shit! It's like sharp. It's like when Asian people you know, talk, it's, it's very, uh, very loud. No, but no, your whatever dialect you guys speak. What is it, Laotian, right? Yeah, Laotian. Yeah, so that Thai whatever dialect is like intense with that shit. You know what I mean? Like the, the sounds, same language, different like dialect. Right, but it's, it's like, ah, da, 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 you know, like it's kind of like a, yeah, it's like it's a like, Mexican Thai. I, I think Thai <laughs> people are more quiet. For sure. Yeah. They're more probably more presentable. You guys yeah. are like loud. They should seem more like proper. the party. You know what I mean? Yeah. I heard like Laos for like raves are actually intense and That's sick. That's crazy. Yeah. Cause like, um, there's a bunch of like every, all the Asian countries go hard for EDM and stuff like that. Wow. And, um, uh, yeah, it's pretty dope. I heard, uh, shrooms came from Cambodia. Yeah, there's a bunch of Cambodian there's shrooms. There's uh, they're all over the but world. Brasilia, yeah. Brazilian shrooms. There's Wait, like now you have to weird. simmer the chicken for like ten minutes. Oh, okay, we're simmering chicken. the chicken for ten minutes. I got, I got to I got to get better at editing this so I get my mom all. We're just gonna get literally clips of you talking for the the food. I can't wait to eat. Wait, to be honest, we're at, yeah, but like Starry. I'm saying because. Is the whole show supposed to be about me? Right, one hundred percent. Move the move the mic though. We got we got we got to have a shirt for the our mom. Is, move is the fucking mic. <laughs> Everybody says that I'm inappropriate, and for some reason I've just not been. Right, but mom, you're fine. Yes. You're fine. We're just starting out. This is our first like what third cooking show that we're posting. So we gone a long way, and we're getting there. So Sorry and with for us, the bottom you know? now, you hear. <laughs> We got Odie Sorry here. Front bottom, not a whole team fucking here. Hey. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> but it was it called? Uh, but yeah, man, my fantasy football team is so trash. Wow. And who's it's, in second place? Ooh. Mom's team is the best team. Aaron, I swear, Aaron's texting me, right. and he's like, he, he can Shots tell he's fired. scared of your team because, like, he's like, oh, you're, you know, like your mom, your mom kids do it. I'm like, oh yeah, he's thinking about it for sure. <laughs> No, I think he does. My team is dubbed. Honestly, <clears throat> fuck you, Michael Thomas. I say that real, hey, that's real cold, quick. Hey, man. real quick. That's be 30, 40 points a week for me, and now he got ten. Now he's questionable. Yeah. Well, I got, well, he got hurt. You know. I don't. Pick. Right. He's, uh, out. McCaffrey. He's out again. Again. 
Easy come, easy wow. go, baby. That's what you were saying. Wow. You got Mike Davis, though, as a backup. Funny that now I took your spot. Mike Davis is really good. I honestly like him as a backup. He's good. He's solid. You know what I mean? You know, I'm like picking off the waiver wire. So your team is kind of a, you're iffy. I'm rooting for Odie, but I'm I don't like think a, you're a C get grade anywhere. team. No, C plus grade. Right, you got to win. We, you got to win that first. Or a B minus. What place are you? Fifth? Or six. Fourth, bro. Better fourth, chill, fourth, man. Fourth. Calm down. You Whoa. gotta win me. So listen, you have to win. Oh, you're third. Third. You're third. You're third. Yeah, dad. Your team's good too. My Whoa. dad's team is sneaky. My dad's team scores fucking points. I'm man. a scraper, dude. Yeah, but no, but no you do though. Point team. Right. You I'm are scraper. killing it, mom. You don't want to honestly ever say women don't know how to play sports or pick them. Okay, okay. First of all, <laughs> fantasy football has nothing to do with gender. You're gender fine uh fantasy football. And Isn't everything in life gender? True. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. Sex, but then yeah. Even then, it's just personal preference. True. Oh, here's what, something I found in the fridge today. I was looking for ketchup for the grandkids, and I came across this bottle of oh, God, beer, so and I think we got it for Christmas from maybe a coworker of mine in 2015. Ooh. And, and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at it. So I'm going to crack it open and we need to all take a drink. Oh, hell no. You You go first though, dad. I'm serious. You got to go for, I'll try some, but you go first. Oh, and I want to just try it. I want to drink it. I don't want to drink it. I just want to sip it. Yeah. Uh Woo. Good. Good color. So so frothy. Smell it first before it smells bad. I remember doing that one time. We had a German beer and it was uh, expired. (laughs) But I didn't say it. Oh, no. No, 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 dump that oh, out. Dude. 15, 2015, dude. Five Merry years old. Happy New Year. Oh, my I, acre. I'm kind of cringing right now. Five, oh. T- tastes like it was. 5%. No, wait. Bottle five <laughs> well, years ago. It was strained through the <laughs> socks of two sailors. Ugh, dude. It's weird. The socks are G strap. Maybe. It was hoppy, kind of. What they What they say about sailors? It's our submariners. Hundred sailors go down in a sub. What did um? Under 50, 50, 50 couples come back. My dad's jokes are actually uh, good dad jokes. Uh, uh, but that's actually not that bad, Dad. It's it's not that good, but it's <laughs> hey, shut up. Oh, do you gotta try it? It's really not that bad. It's just kind of hoppy. Just sip it. Just taste beer. Sip it. It's not that bad. Christmas. Sorry, it's like you. hoppy. Just sip. Just a quick Bodie, little sippy. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It tastes hella yeasty. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it at all. Old yeast. All right. We're done with this yeast. experiment. Oh, I know, but we're fine. What are we on the cooking? But what, what do we just do? Because we have the, re- we have the recap. What do we just do cooking wise? Okay, so <clears> I browned the chicken. Yeah. And now I'm simmering it for ten minutes. Mm-hmm. I salted it and peppered it and a little bit uh-huh. of garlic salt. Right. And, uh, and garlic. And then I will take it out and I will add the rest of the ingredients. <coughs> I will cook the onion in, in it, in mm-hmm. the what's in the pan. And then I'll cook the mushrooms and add the seasoning, the chicken stock, the balsamic dressing, the flour, and it will be good to go. Heck yeah. Sounds great. That sounds amazing. Anything with balsamic vinegar and mushrooms. And it's a really good balsamic. I'm in. So it's from, we got it at an Italian restaurant that we love in San Francisco. We don't mm-hmm. know the name of it, but we yeah, recognize it. Frangelico or something. Yeah, that bottle looks dope. And they usually we don't it sell it. Them. And they, um, they, they did it for us. They actually liked us. So, Do you know what we should start doing though? This is super, super random. And it just made that glass ball made me think of it. We should go to Bodie, California and do a video there. Oh, I it's a 360 about it. We're going to Bodie. We should do it because I have Take that new camera. Down there. Well, um, yeah. what's it called? Bodie, California, or like even go to Virginia City again. That place is so cool. I love that place. We should do a ghost tour of some sorts. Maybe, um, do the, uh, the hotel in Nevada. That one would be insane. They did it one time at Ghost Adventures and they had hell crazy we can do shit. It. That's in uh, Tonopah. Yeah. Right. And what I what stayed place? in the hotel right what next place? door. Oh, sketchy. The Tonopah Hotel. The Washoe Hotel. No, 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 That scared me. This yeah. is, I I've been there too. I have friends I brought home with me. No, but. So there's actually the Tonopah Hotel and right next to it is like the Tonopah Motel 6. That's right. where we stayed. But we had dinner in, in the uh, Tonopah Hotel and we talked to one of the waiters. He said, hey, 
I see Stefan in the hallways all, all the, time. the time. All the time. I bet. He goes, and first he started work, first started working there. He would haul, he'd go down the hallways uh-huh. wondering, oh, I wonder who that is. Is that my coworker? Oh, and nobody's there. That would suck. Yeah, then pretty soon he's like, I, I'm not going down any of the hallways. So. Well, once Old Folsom ever gets closed down, oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be the coolest place yeah. to go to her. Yeah, I Actually, saw some stuff. Yeah. I didn't see anything at Old Folsom, but at New Folsom, I saw Really? Yes. Do you think people were buried over Maybe in that area? Of the area. Well, that, no, the cemetery is out and back. But no, 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 like, no, you no. never they, know. Historically, they had three. The, the cemetery, cemetery was at three different locations. Right. They keep moving and them. They, they, don't they know. moved it. They moved it for, uh, they were going to move the, the, the insane asylum they built that they never used. So they moved the cemetery. Then there was a large flood and they had to move it again. So I'm not sure it may have been out in that area. Well, I don't yeah, know. Well, crazy. One time um, we had to, I had to use a porter, which is an inmate worker. And we went into the mail room. And we kept hearing this banging. We're like, what the heck is that? So I walk over and I flew open a door and there's a cinder block little room. You can't get into it any other way, but the, through the door, there's only one door in. And we looked and there was a chair in the middle of this room and nothing else. That's crazy. So we kind of looked at each other and I shut the door. I turned around, <clears throat> took a few steps and we heard banging in that room again. So I looked at him, walked over and don't ask me. I'm not, I'm not real brave in some things. I'm really brave in others, but not, not when it comes to ghosts. I threw the door open and the chair was moved and it was a weekend. There was nobody there and he quit his job. And <laughs> He's like, I'm done I'm with never this. never going back in that place again. Right. And um, it was crazy. Well, I, I should tell, we should tell him though, Odie, that at this house, this we have captured definitely a ghost. Me and Odie, we were like 16 and I'm blowing O's at him. Remember that? And you're just like, that sounds weird. I know, huh? That well, sounds kind of weird. when you guys weird. were kids. Smoking hookah. So, so Riley, yeah. he has an, they have an older brother, Riley, <laughs> who's four years older than them. And Riley had friends that had younger brothers. So I always had, had a whole group of boys staying the night with their younger brothers. And um, so one night, Mike had called and he was at work. And I said, I just heard, you know, there's something going on here. And I go, don't tell the kids they get afraid. The kids got to where they didn't want to come anymore. So... Anyways, I, I was sitting at the desk upstairs in my room, and all of a sudden I heard a boom, 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 bouncing on the counter. And I went over, and I finally got up, and I went over and looked, and it was a razor, and you had to push the on button up one inch. To turn I remember that. And so I was kind of freaked out. I grabbed it, and I turned it off, COVID. pushed down an inch, and that night, um, 2.38 in the morning, we were in bed asleep, and all of a sudden we started hearing... And chicken over here would not get out of bed. So I got up, yeah, walked into that. the bathroom and pushed it off again. And um, we had stuff from a friend who has a very haunted house. Yeah. And he told me to pack everything up and take it back, which I never did do. Yeah. And but like, I did have my back rubbed the other night. Somebody was rubbing my back. I was just getting ready to go to sleep. And so the ghost, I can't confine to this room. I thought they were all staying here like I thought. I thought They're so too. They're now in my bedroom. So. so my parents, they like made the kitchen that was really small in here and the dining room we never used into one ginormous kitchen. So when I used to like go up the stairs every night, I always felt like someone was in that area over there. I don't know what the fuck it was. Maybe it was that little Asian vase you got that one year. I don't know what it was, but it was creepy. The whole side was just sketch and like, Oh, you do? You should definitely probably get rid of that. Sorry, <laughs> Ghost, if you're here. All of a sudden, just boom, boom, just fall. But, like, we literally captured... Even crazier, we'll be out, we have a camera in the kitchen. Right. And we'll be out at my daughter's, <clears throat> and we hear somebody with... You hear the water running? Like, this is what you hear. Oh, that's creepy. So we kind of freaked out. We jumped in our car, and we raced back home. And it was going on the whole drive. It's about five minutes. And as soon as we turned onto our street, it was dead silence. And we uh-huh. walked into the house and there was nothing going on. That's crazy. Like, I don't know. I drew like, cause Odie, you captured that. We're, we're like, we're doing like shutter shot. Just brrr, shoot the hell a photo, shot. yeah. Right. Shutter shot photos. And you legit were just looking through the pictures after I did the whole like shot. And you're going through and you're like, oh, bro. There's a smoke ring with the eye in it. Right. The smoke ring, there's definitely like in the eye, in the circle, there's an eye right here. Perfect. I'll put it up in the video. But dude, perfect freaking cat eye. It looks like a cat eye. 100%. Like, I don't know. It doesn't look like a human eye. It's like a cat eye. It's creepy. And this is Odie's fucking best reaction ever because he never. I've been living here for a minute. I don't really believe in ghosts. So I haven't really like really experience anything like that so <laughs> he was so like, like 
My thing, I think it's like a rat or something <laughs> first. Right. Or like some type of, you know, right. like a rat running around. But you're yeah, just I oblivious. Odious doesn't yeah. want to believe, I believe. No, I, I just, I mean, I stayed here for over 10 years. Right, I mean. right. But you still don't think so? No. Nah, okay. We're friends I don't with get the haunted scared. house. We've been at a party and we all came walking in and the door slammed on one of our friends. And there was a room full of people, probably 20 people sitting there. And that door slammed on him. And the, there was carpet there. So you couldn't slam that door if you wanted to. And everybody sat there watching this door slam against the carpet on somebody's Oh, yeah. Dude, you know what's crazy? Actually, that door is like... He's like... He's like drag. It's like 70 style carpet. I remember that. It was at Emily's house. I bleep that out. Anyways. Kevin's house where you get to like... Literally, it's a carpet. So like... <clears throat> like it, you literally have to, like push it open every time, so that's kind of creepy. The house is, and we got stuff from that house, and then ever since then it's been weird. So well, ne- their neighbors have had people move in and out of the house next door to them because they can't keep it sold Gosh. because it's so haunted. And a couple houses from that, there's been people killed. Right. And um, our voice is telling them to kill somebody. It's that is so weird. Sus. Does, it, does it have to like be on record? Right. When you sell a home. Well, Bree. My sister. No. Well, my sister, like, she someone had someone died in this home. Yeah, she. You have to tell somebody if somebody died in the what? house. No, so I mean, like, my yeah, she wanted the household. And the guy committed suicide. So when Riley was like 15, he took all of his friends over and they're standing outside, and all of a sudden there was banging on the house on the door from the inside. Yeah, and fuck that terrified. house. That, I'm he telling you. Never go. They would never I've been there. there. I, I swear to God, I was doing homework. No one was there. And then all of a sudden I just hear. Get away, Jack. And I'm like, what the hell? And then, like, before that, though, I kept hearing the, the cabinet doors go, like, bah, 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 It was like all four of them going, bang, 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 like getting my attention, you know, like, look at me over here. And it was like, what the hell's that noise? All of a sudden, I hear that. I'm not going to lie. I did, I did hear where, like, heard one cabinet get shut. <laughs> really? When no one's home. Here? <laughs> no, at Bree's old house. Yeah, but hold on. I'm telling you, that old house. Was it was sus? Yeah, I mean, like that house was different than you know. At least here, they're nice. (laughs) Her her house was like, like, ooh. It was a young guy, and he committed suicide. It was really sad. Pardon me. It was like a gay guy guy. was young, right? Yeah, he was like in his thirties. It was very yeah, sad. And the house she has now, somebody had a heart attack and died. Right, she's not been very lucky. No, yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, dude, that house is kind of (laughs) new. Right. Yeah, but fuck, man. Like, damn. And Connor, I feel like Connor has like some like, it, like I don't know, psychic kind of abilities because that fool would be like, he knows. So my grandson is a twin and we would be driving when he was like three or four. And he would say, I talked, you know, I need to go over there and talk to them. We're like, go talk to him. What? That's a cemetery. He goes, they need to talk to me. And one time they were playing. I had him in the back and I went a different way because I used mm-hmm. to take him over to McDonald's to have breakfast. And then we'd go play and go home, and take a nap. So I was like, okay. So I went a different way and all of a sudden he's playing on something. His head pops up. He goes, I need to go talk to them. They, they're calling for me. They need me. And it was a cemetery. That's crazy. And every time I'd go by a cemetery, no matter what he was doing, <clears throat> he would stop what he was doing. And he knew that he was by a cemetery. Right. And they, somebody asked us if he is, um, has a lot of sensory issues. And my daughter will say, yes. And they said, well, don't take him to a cemetery. Right. Because he has right. in tune too right. much. Yeah, the kid's like he knows Access. right so like yeah, that kid he knows like something it's so creepy dude because he's just I, like oh. i grilled the onions oh yeah in so this, what did dad do dad rolled it out yes and now and i'm so, putting the mushrooms in and i'll put the chicken broth the balsamic the flour Wait, what did dad do real quick explain what dad did yep right uh-huh uh-huh <clears throat> uh-huh hell yeah so we don't we actually don't use a new thing we just bought <laughs> yeah you can we never thought about it we should the the new thing literally it's like oh, we're gonna, yeah, we are gonna make- okay, the new thing he's talking about is a noodle for my kitchen aid that does noodles and lasagna right. and pasta and we forgot about it yeah, I thought I was like, wait, can we have that new tool? <laughs> uh huh. Oh, I see, I see. 
Nice. Oh, that looks bomb. Hell yeah! Dude, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tip tip. I'm good though. But I'm like, ooh. You know what I find funny? Oh. Is uh, when we're talking about pasta and shit, every time you talk about pasta, it like comes up on my phone. Dude, like some. <laughs> It's fucking weird. So I'm on Instagram and some dude is oh, making yeah. pasta. It's trying to piss me with off. With beaten a eggs bit. and shit. I'm like, what? I looked at one thing at Dick's today, not oh. the Dick. <laughs> it was all dildos. Dick's Sporting Goods? Yeah, no, yeah, not that one. Six inch double dongs. Dick's Sporting Goods. But uh, not that one. And, uh, <laughs> 10% off. And right away, the, I was playing a little uh, card game, uh, Spades card game, and the advertisement was for Dicks. No like, shit. Wow, exactly. Dude, they know. They know. Big veiny they bastards. Know. Motherfuckers. Dude, I'm telling you, you guys. <laughs> I know your mom said I knew everything about him but you should really watch it because it's like it's crazy because one guy that was actually the one that started the whole like we need to like get people on our app longer yeah. and how do we do that you know and like all these guys are like yeah it's not good it's not good and they're like how do you do it? how do you fix this they're like I don't know <laughs> you know like censor how you restart everything you know um, Albert Einstein right. was saying that he saw the future with people on their phones all the time. Right. And he said, we need to not go there. See, I think these guys all did a lot of like hallucinogens, like DMT and shit and saw the future because they could, I don't know, DMT, it's not about DMT and drug use. It's like, it, 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 like you could kind of see into like what's they say the future. That's what one guy said in this podcast. He's like, every time you do DMT, you feel like you get like a week in the future, you'll see something in your trip. Kind of wild. But yeah. Um, you know, yeah, not good. I'm good off DMT. Yeah, 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 for sure. But I'm just saying, I would. Sounds scary. Exactly. I'm already. You it's know, it's like the three letters DMT. It is kind of wild. It's ah, like PCP, dude. but you know what I mean. If it had yeah. a different name, it'd probably be not. Sounds as like demon T. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Demon T. You're What's like what? Thing? What? People are oh. really bad to use their middle names. Right. Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. Harvey. Who cares his his middle name is uh, Harvey? Yeah. Right. Lee yeah. Oswald. Why? Right. You're right. That's a good or, point. What was the other one? Um, Wait, would you say like a, a mid name, a middle name? My name, Odie doesn't have a middle name. It's pretty badass. Yeah, I don't have a middle name. Yeah, you don't have a middle name. One. Yeah. Maybe if this podcast gets big, we could have. Oh, one. Odie, you know, it's hot in the kitchen. Kia Vonza. No, it's hot in the kitchen. It would definitely be his middle name. It's supposed to be uh, David, but I don't know. They were like, not too lazy to write that out. They didn't huh? make the cut. They're like, OTY, already confusing. You know, and then your last name. It's supposed, it, be, it's supposed to be O.D. David Kilvangsa, but it was never in my... O.D. David, David. David Kilvangsa. But, David is dearly beloved. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but it was never put in the birth certificate. Right, right. But that's Which, funny, I though. Don't know why. I'm Alan. It's kind of gay. No offense, Dad. Why? Alan's kind of... No one likes an Alan to be... Well, it was after your dad and your grandfather. I understand that. I get it. I get. I understand. I understand. Right, and I'm not trying to diss that. Just could we have a better middle name? You know, like yeah. Blazer. Yeah. Wait, I move the mic for Dad, Mom. You move the mic for Dad, so it's closer. It's gonna be awesome. This, yeah, yeah. Um, what are you doing right now? Now I'm cutting the the uh, rolled up, flattened, sixteenth of an inch thick <clears throat> dough. Now I'm cutting it. Right. And I'm making these noodles, cool noodles. Right, right. So come I think out, <sighs> come out like that, and then you just like a fruit roll, like a fruit by the foot, fruit roll up. Yeah, I love fruit by the foot. By the way, that's the best shit. Remember that shit back in the day? You put the oh, would you, would you put the whole awesome. three feet in your mouth? See, real, nah, you did. You I were, piece it out. You're a piece of outer. Piece, yeah. I don't. I judge you for that. You gotta savor it. No, fuck how, that. How are the braces going? Oh, that's cool. Um, Does it hurt? Yeah, I close. Got, huh? I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. Tomorrow? So. Yeah, my I went to the dentist for literally my appointment was a minute long. <laughs> it was good. They literally went, and then you're like, you're done. It does give me a headache when I get like new bands. Oh yeah, bands and make headaches. Tie you down tomorrow. I don't know what the hell he's gonna do. So hmm. might hurt more, huh? Yeah, I think he likes hurting people. No, no honestly, he's actually kind of nice. I like my new dentist. Let's be real. Yeah, they're nice people. He's he's does cool. He give you gas, access to drugs. Oh, they give me the the numb <laughs> shit, the shots. Yeah, I like that a lot. Stew. Oh, and I always tell him I need more when I really don't need more. Yeah. I'm just I kidding. Don't like I, that I don't. Feeling, though. I don't either, but I don't like when my teeth are like fucking and then no, grinding and you like, feel it. I don't it. like that. It's not, it's, <laughs> you know, I got that deep cleaning because I'm a dumb college kid for a while and didn't fucking take care of my teeth that well. I did do, like, I mean, I floss, but I didn't floss my molars because I'm a lazy piece of crap. 
And uh, they're like, oh, what was that? You kicking? Your, your niece heard me talking to your sister about how you've had all these dental issues recently. So Gracie went home and said, uh, Yaya, will you show me how to use my um, water pick? So we set that up today for her because of your story. Oh, yeah, it hurts. Deep cleaning is, for I real. mean, honestly, I've been through some surgeries in my life. The deep cleaning is no joke. They go hard on your teeth. Like, oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, my God. Like, I think that was worse. I don't know. Actually, no. They got your wisdom teeth sucks. I'll yeah, that, that. sucks. Mine were in there for a long time and impacted. I, know, the I fuck with that. I hate that. Were the worst. It's worse. Yeah. And I had five. I was like super wise. Five? What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I had an extra one. We're near, we're, I think we're Nathan. Nathan. Wait. Neanderthals. Why can't this boy carry some English? Neanderthals. Neanderthals. Yeah. There we go. Why can I not say? I went full. I went literally like hard R. He told Holy me, says, "Hey, I, the, my the mind is went off. I can't believe I didn't break your jaw." And I'm like, "What? Do you know what's funny? I never really got pulling. I feel like his foot was on my face. Yeah. Like at one point, because I kind of like woke up like three quarters of the way through. They're just like, <laughs> it's like a." It's like a, tim- <laughs> a, a Timberland footprint right. <laughs> on my chest. Right, yeah. Yeah, I feel like a Timberland, like the little dots. Uh, Timberland fo- like footprint head, on dude. your so face. Remember when Odie to get the grip. Oh, man. Wasn't Odie flirting with his, with his old Oh, uh, Odie no. was the I best. I called her a, a, a ninja B-word. bitch. <laughs> you used to call her a ninja bitch. You called her, because she had a black, like, mask on, and then she wore black, like, stuff. And then Odie looked at Pretty her, and he was up. like, he was a ninja bitch. I was like, <laughs> and oh, I my video, God. And they were like, has has me under IV. You're like this. You're like, hey, has me under IV. Hey, goes, what's hey. your favorite radio? I'm like, ninety five. Like, ninja bitch. Yeah, he's <laughs> a ninja bitch. And then he got going like this. Man, you kept picking it up, picking I, it up, dude. You getting your hair teeth gets... like, I don't know. Getting put under IV is is scary. It's not fun. I felt nauseous the whole time. What's funny because when you were on drugs, you were so talkative and you're kind of shyish already. You were literally like, hey. <laughs> like this? Yeah, I know. Whipping it, whipping it, whipping it. I know. Oh, it was so good. You were the funniest person I've <sighs> ever had to get pick up for. I'll, I'll, if you have to go under any time again, I have to be oh, there. Oh, we got videotaped. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, 100%. That. that is the funniest shit. I say we disagree. Anybody goes under, you have to get videotaped. videotaped. You, are, yeah. you approve of that. God, I can only imagine what my dad would say. It's so horrible. Holy shit. I don't know. I I feel like I was kind of like out. Of, I, I I think I didn't feel like they didn't give me enough drugs. You were fine too. You were fine. Yeah, I mean I was kind of, but like I felt I, I felt like myself too much. I was not on the like he was on the drugs. You were on. Yeah, one. I felt that. I wasn't sure. really. I felt Jeez. like afterwards I was like, oh, give me home. This hurts. Yeah, that shit was strong. Because I, I woke up like three quarters of the way through, so I was kind of like already out of that funky like weirdness. You know what I mean? Yeah, he was like, he had something, like he had a hold of the back molar, and he was, he was prying against my front teeth. I was going to break my, my teeth off, you know? Right, that's and what I felt. his assistant, um, very attractive young lady, Preferred. was on my chest, holding my face. That's- and then the other one was behind him, holding the back of my head. I ain't kidding. And I'm thinking, <laughs> like, oh, your head like this. You got a Dude. face full of hair. <laughs> so he, he said... This guy had done. It was the same guy who did yours, right? Right. Uh, yeah, I think so. Right. He was like the guy. Wait, did we all three of us do the same person? Yeah. He was. That's the guy hilarious. In that sounds medieval. Yeah, I felt like his hand was on my face too, and he was like, "Yeah, he, he was yanking my face." Yeah. Fuck that guy. Yeah, dude. I, I felt like um at the end. Spirit yeah. out. That burnt cheese. cheese. It was horrible. Burnt cheese. Good. Oh my I god. Love, I love. Looks so um, good, Dad. Crispy uh, parmesan. Well, so we're gonna make some uh, noodles. Noodles. Noodle. I'm a little tip tip. Noodle. It only take three minutes to cook. Oh, three minutes to boil. Yeah, for these because they're already soft. Yeah. You know, like a hard noodle. What is a hard noodle? I I always um you see like that. A hard noodle. <laughs> Do you like a hard noodle or a softer noodle? The softer noodle, if, I, if, it's, if it's prison, yeah. definitely softer. I'm a soft noodle yeah, guy. Yeah, on that note. I'm a soft noodle guy. To start, you want to start soft? <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it hard. I'm dead. That's so Sounds funny. crunchy. 
You're crunchy. <laughs> 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 oh man, we need to go travel though, Sunodi. Can't man. Well, in a sec, we can. Brovin nineteen. Yeah, I know. Huh? I wonder how it's gonna ch- uh, affect everything. You know, like I'm gonna. Whole family has. What? My buddy's got the whole family's got the nineteen. Oh shit! No shit. And they're actually all doing really good. One had like flu symptoms. Right, Just right, the flu, right? right? But they were pretty fortunate. I feel like we yeah. all got it early. I really do. I don't, man. Well, we all were hanging out together, anyways. All, Whoa. all of us. Right, right, right. But I mean, like, what if we already had it? Well, I don't think a lot of people have a son that came back from yeah. Wuhan, China. Yeah. In the November last year. Right, right. What? What's the right. odds? It, it was me, though. funny it was though. Is I never one. I remember one time I was like, man, I can't taste anything. I feel like I burned my mouth, but I really didn't, and I couldn't taste anything. What? That was months ago. That was months ago. Uh huh. By the way, they cannot hear a word you're saying. So coming back from from See? Thailand. It's, I know. I know. Last year on vacation, okay, mom. Stop in China. Right. In Wuhan, China. Wuhan, China. Where rather was. He sent me a text saying, "Hey, we're gonna be a day late coming back. It's supposed to be our house the day before Thanksgiving." And uh, he sent me a text saying, hey, we're staying in, we missed our flight, but well, they canceled the flight and we're going to stay at a deserted hotel in China. <laughs> there was no one there. Dude, what no the one there. Desert? What is that? Why deserted? There was no wow. one there, though. He's yeah. sent pictures and there's not a single yeah, person there. Outside. So it was going it on. It was a nice ch- hotel. Yeah, November 26th, it was already happening in China. We didn't know about it. Uh-huh. That's crazy. They're pretty good at that, keeping a secret stuff. 2019. Right. That's crazy. I there, know, uh, like little baby whispers. I know, but yeah, freaking, that's crazy, dude. I don't know. Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. I don't know. That's the one thing that sucks that you don't know. It'd be cool to tell you, like, oh, you already had it. This is what, this and that. Yeah, I was. I've never been sick like that before. Yeah, dry, dry cough. Oh, I'm not yeah, but we were tested and we did not have it, and we did not have shortness of breath. Every right, symptoms, right, 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 right. I agree. But shortness I agree. Of breath, and I had the fever. You did not have a fever. Right. I agree. Maybe you're kind of far away, Dad. Just letting you know. Maybe. Yeah. Ow. I got a little bug bite. Dude, that bug bite on my arm. Look at that shit, Odie. It's still there. What is that? That was from like a month ago. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's pretty wild. Put some tape over it. Put some tape over it? Yeah. Um, dude, if you had to get bit by a rattlesnake or a scorpion, what would it be? None? Uh, scorpion, right? Yeah, we could film it. Scorpion. Mm, none, dude. They're both poisonous. You, can start, like, the, you know that one uh, YouTube that. channel where they're like... Stinging themselves. Yeah, but you have like an antidote vial right by you right, and shit. You do it? I cannot no. do that. That's, I do can't do watch it? that. Why? Hey, that's some fear factor shit. You're right. Brody would do it. You're a fear factor? Joe right. Rogan used to be so cool on fear, fear factor. factor. Remember the shit they ate? Yeah, yeah Rogan. Like worms and shit. Worms. Rogan, yeah. Right, Rogan. The last one was when they had like snakes in their mouth or some shit. Some- Oh, he said they drank like horse jizz and he threw up almost. Oh, dude. He said he got like better out of it through time. Like, horse he got like, jizz? yeah, he had drink it or something. Yeah, I can't watch that from uh, Jackass. Oh, no, yeah, it wasn't horse jizz. Sorry, like goat cum or something that dude, bad. It was uh, really bad. In Jackass, it was uh, horse, horse jizz. Right? You're yeah, horse jizz. Yeah, 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 he drank it. I almost threw up. Uh, you threw up. Dad, my dad cannot you know, watch any Jackass. And Three Six Mafia was there, right? And he's like, "You won't Juicy eat J. this piece of shit." Remember that one time you ate I, the piece I of think shit? Juicy J gave him like two hundred dollars. Yeah, he ate I, a piece I don't of know, crap. He like ate that. it like horse crap, and he ate for oh, horse crap. Yeah, but the oh, worms I could eat. I right think. after the bugs, right? I'd be good with. Oh, but if they came out of something that was kind of rotten, like uh, the fuck, oh, goat brains, right? No. I don't know, dude. See, you know what's funny is when they lay with snakes. That's that's scary shit. To be too. honest, out of all my friends, Odie, you'd be the first person I would think would do all right on Fear Factor. Hell no. You'd be the first guy. Really? You think so? Yes. I've never seen you Man, not eat anything. That's a compliment. Literally, there's hell no. Literally, you could be the guy that would eat literally anything. No, I, I would say we get some worms. I, I wouldn't eat worms. I wouldn't eat frog legs. Bro, I wouldn't eat yes, none would. of that. I we mean, frog, frog legs. legs. I've no, eaten them. No, I'm we should good, cook bro. some frog legs. Yeah. I don't fuck with frog. I don't know. That seems, Why? That seems weird. Mama Jane is like, no. Heard he tastes like chicken. I say we take the podcast to go to the Asian store. I don't know. Dude. Little field trip. Me and Odie, I love Asian well, store. me and Odie need to do a. I, well, I love. They have some weird uh, shit I, there. I can't imagine. I couldn't even do 
Like frogs, frogs and shit? Right, 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 right. Even right. though I love science and nah. was an honor student and could have done it well, I could not kill a frog. Right, right, right. Uh-uh. But yeah, wait, co- yeah. closer, better closer to that. Better no, closer some of them are alive. Some, Sorry. <laughs> the, the frogs are already dead when you die. Some Asian right. supermarkets have them alive. It's fucking weird. Dude, I, man, I don't know. I couldn't. I could Interesting, we, though. Me, you and I need to do an episode where mom and dad sit here and we, do, we go do cooking. So we, we should do that. Yeah, but she she can take a chicken or a turkey, mm-hmm. tear all the innards out of it, right? Cut it up like we used to yeah. buy chickens. That I think were that's all more jacked up than anything whole else. chickens, right? But she can't do a frog, right? No, no frog, no frog. It looks that. like it came out of a package from Rayleigh's. I can do no. Rayleigh's all day. No, long. you rip its butthole out. I don't like frogs. Really? No. You rip its butthole out and put stuffing up it. No, but it comes in a pa- it comes in a paper bag. What? The, the innards are in a paper container. Really? They're yes. gonna, they're gonna rip them out for you? Yes. That's so stupid. You got your whole arm oh, up cool. the butthole of that. Oh, he's good up a little bit. All prepared and shit. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That'd be, that'd be good. We should do an air fried turkey if you can. No, no, no we're corn good. dogs. Hell no. Can you air fry a turkey? Corn dogs. Oh, air fry corn dogs. Dude, I bet you could air fry a turkey. Nah, that sounds fucking gross. You do it for like three hours. If you're gonna go fry a turkey, you're gonna do it the right way. Well, I think you fry it, then air fry, double no, fry no. with a healthy fry. No. We're doing a healthy video of it. Fry. We're doing that, a video dude, of it. Dude, that turkey is gonna be dry. As 100%. Fuck. We're not gonna do a podcast on that one. We're gonna do a video of us doing an air fried turkey. It probably won't even fit. I will find a, an air fryer that'll fit. We have an air fryer, but it's not big enough. We make a really good turkey dinner. Yeah. There's already got to be an air fry turkey. We brine brine it. It's super good. Got to brine that turkey. We're going to air fry turkey. It's going to be done. That just sounds nasty. That dry ass turkey you can have. You think it would be. Exactly. It'd be super good. Tell him, mom. Why, said, you, why you. are you guys so against some, something new? Some dry turkey? Some air fried turkey would sounds dank. They're already frying in the oil. You put some oil in it, I think. You well, don't do you air think fry. The oils is like containing all the juices. Right, but you like boil it or fry it in a you big old fryer. Thing, bro. The same thing as air frying it. I don't know, man. You, good luck. I bet you can air fry. Good luck. There's going to be a poll right now where we put it on our Instagram. Can like you air him, fry a turkey uh, or not? From that movie. That is the fucking good video. Luck. What? Good luck. <laughs> good luck. Air fry my I am the captain now. You nice d- and crispy. I mean, why don't you just do that in a in a, in a fryer? Basically, it's a convection oven. Right. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Convection on, the fan goes, it's blowing air. Right. Heat. Right. But that shit's so big, it's not gonna fit in an air fryer. I think so. No, you have a little little baby turkey. Yeah, yeah, baby yeah, turkey. Little, little, if, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's. I'm thinking he's talking like so a full ass wings, turkey. Yeah. <laughs> like a full size turkey. No, it's gonna be a little baby. Yeah, a little baby. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. I eat a uh, chicken. Now that makes sense. Oh How about a chicken? God. You know, because that takes forever to, take, right. to to cook. Yeah. Oh god. What's your favorite uh, thing to eat on Thanksgiving? That's no, what we should do is do a brisket on the. Ooh, brisket. Ooh, um, the, on the Traeger. Traeger, you can film it. We'll film it on my phone. I'm sure there's plenty of those. Right, but still, it's something on our channel. Yeah. There's we gotta do something for everything. So we gotta cancel. We should go through the like the basic. We'll have like a basic episode where it's like quicker. We just show you how to make it. The basics ones. And then we'll have like these extraordinary ones that we're doing now. We're like a noodles and all that shit. Right. It'd be kind of cool. But, like a hey, college kid need to eat some food or make some uh, quick meal. Oh, yeah. With the air, air fryer. That's all you got is air fryer. Right. Right. I mean, right. that's like a college You're making drink. like a whole meal. Right. Yeah, college that drink would right be there. cool. Yeah, we'll call for sure. College recipe. You know what yeah. I mean? Boom. College kids that, that are broke. That would be Odie. Because Odie is amazing. Air fryer guy. I'm yeah, air fryer guy. God. I love air fryer guy. I think, yeah, he could put together the menu. Yeah. Like you're going to have a girl over. You're going to impress her. You're going to cook for her. Oh, Air dude, fryer. I'm making her mozzarella sticks. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're going to start off with like appetizer. Yeah. And then maybe oh, some vegetables. Oh, the mozzarella sticks for sure. Mozzarella sticks. A lot of them. <laughs> hey, you can't do like a steak or anything, right? <laughs> Dead, man. That's so funny. <laughs> some dip. <laughs> some marin- Some marinara. Bacon wrapped corn dogs. Mozzarella <laughs> sticks. Some marinara. For your girlfriend? Uh, I think. Pancake, Once? You made a breakfast. Pancake. One time, I think I've cooked. I suck at cooking. So I just hate cooking. Pancakes. I should get back into it. <laughs> cooked one time for my girlfriend. Man, I'm going to hell for that. I love pancakes. Oh my God. Is it almost done? 
We're waiting for the noodles to cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Uh, that's three minutes, and then we're eating. Hell yeah. Man, I wish you could show Dad WAP. That's somewhat frustrating. I know. We got to show you that next time. Video, but YouTube's yeah, out. I know. It's like, we want to see your reaction. See if YouTube's up, actually, Dad, on Did your we phone. break YouTube? YouTube broke because we're so good. It was like, man, it's hot in the kitchen. It's kind of intense. Also, <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. See, that's what you do right there, Dad. I just did it. Subscribe. I should probably show my nip next time. I'll probably get more views. Your neck? You know? I should get a nip slip in each episode. A nip? Nip slip, yeah. So oh, weird. The only one that has nips in here. Oh, that sh- sh- oh shut up. My oh, nips. shut oh. up. That's so just, weird. Hey, YouTube's up. Oh. And the first, the first um, story or whatever the highlight is, for YouTube's today is down. it says, no. Trump plans to barricade himself in the Oval Office. What the fuck? I want to see that. That's, that seems that's like must funny. see TV. Horrible. Yeah. I mean, is he gonna like? Is he gonna break stuff on my picture? What is him? his like snacks? You think he has? Oh God, he's he's all into fast food. Right. Wait, you think so he's got like twenty Bell. cases, 10, 20 cases of a uh, Diet Coke. Right. In the Oval wow. Office. Right. You know, because yeah. he's gonna stay there. Oh, the, they stay in the carpet on accident. Oh my you God. Know I mean? You know how like people have like a desk and it has stains when you move the desk and it's all clean. With after Trump, it was just like a fiesta of like Taco Bell, like lettuce, cheese, you know, KFC maybe, buckets, right? And the grease is grease smeared everywhere. The the whole desk is horrible now. Yeah, inside yeah. the resolute desk in the in the drawers, oh. he had just buckets of chicken because <laughs> he never worked. You know, he never really did anything. Dumped. Right. So, oh, oh so my funny. god, who went to the yeah. White House and who? He bought McDonald's. Yeah, for Wait, Clemson. Who Clemson. Who was it? Clemson. Yeah, Clemson. Clemson. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah, they're, they're, okay. they're college kids. They like, you know, McDonald's. McDonald's. And most dude. of them don't. Most of no, them they're like, we're like high level athletes. We're only get drafted. We, we don't eat, yeah, we don't Clemson eat that crap. Clemson feeds us really good. Yeah. McDouble for you. McDouble for you. McDouble. Clemson for you. gets all that money from the football team. No, you know for a fact they're funny. eating amazing. Oh, a, amazing. Yeah. If you're a 300 pound old lineman, you're eating all day. Probably. It is probably per good player. I mean, they're diets. Or, oh yeah, or they have a little dietitian for baking. everybody. Yeah, everyone's got. Oh, you're it. a lineman. You're gonna get a bunch of ton of carbs. Right. Yeah. You know. Right. I never. Uh, who was a Hall of Famer for the Browns? He was like 300 some pounds. He said he had to wake up in his college years and get like eat. eat. Yeah. You know, like a whole meal. Maintain weight. Yeah. Four uh, four o'clock in the morning, he's got to eat. Man, I, I I miss my calling. Wish <laughs> I was like you know a foot taller. <laughs> You know, Damn, like imagine, pounds heavier. That's like, imagine eating 4 a.m. in the morning with your poops be like. That's oh, Odie. No. That's Odie. Yeah, Odie at 4 in the morning. No, I don't. You're, uh, like, no, you're, 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 you're like, she's right, like, like 1 and 3. That man. dog tells on you. Yeah, the dog gets up. It goes, I'm going to get water. <laughs> oh, right. Water. water. And probably some buttermilk pie. Uh, uh, that, was it buttermilk pie last night? Don't no, lie to me. I didn't have that. Odie makes some good buttermilk pie. Do you want more? Do you have any more? Do you have any more buttermilk pie? Uh, of course. It's more in there. It's free. I think we should have Odie make a buttermilk pie. <laughs> on the show. On the show. Right. We'll do we'll, our episode. We'll do that. Because I think we'll next, uh, probably pie. the next episode. Yeah, you're not right. the one. Oh. oh. Pineapple upside down. We're going to have to do the one where Pineapple upside down. Cake where one's already cake. done. Just uh-huh. like they do on TV. Uh-huh. One's already done. Then right. you do all the fixings. Right, right. Because that, that pie has to set up for a while. For sure. That's yeah, how you do it. That's what we did the first time. Right. Yeah. It's okay. We're going to put the noodles in for three minutes. Three minutes. Noodle up. Noodle caboodle. Yeah, dude. I know. It looks really good, though. Holy shit. I wonder if there's a way to, like, you pour them in. You know what I mean? I wonder if there's a technique to make them not clump up together. You have to put oil and salt in the water, which I already did, Uh and it helps separate it. And oh. coat them so they don't right. stick together. Oh yeah, I heard right. that. Like a little, little teaspoon or so. Yeah, I'm telling you, the Rogan episode Some I watched salt. was this guy was going balls deep in it. What? The guy was like, you gotta like each noodle, lay it. Oh. Yeah, the boss guy was like, every noodle, like. Phew. I remember that, and he's like, it takes so long. Da 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 da. Every morning, it's like, damn, dude. Oh, yeah, for like, sure. Suck. Like, and he talks about the whole time, like, yeah, you don't make that much money being a cook, and da 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 da. And it's hard, so. Like shit, yeah, dude. I mean, like, why don't she be a cook? No, I've seen it before and uh, cooking for eight hours. Uh huh. Probably not fun. Uh huh. It's only fun eating. Right. Right. You know. Yeah. You know, even Mike, you know? like, 
on your face. Like on my grill. Yeah. You like it? They feel Ooh. comfy. It kind of feels like warm, like, a, like a yeah, like a good mask. Fuzzy. Yeah, it's like it's warm. It's a little fuzzy. Yeah, you feel like you got like be in the you know? mic. Are you gonna eat it soon? Are you hungry? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't just like to go bite like an apple of your mic. But yeah, I lick it sometimes. It's weird. <laughs> you like that? It's like sweaty. Why is it salty, dude? So moist. <laughs> it's so moist. <laughs> why does it taste like fried rice? Like, bro, why is it dry? <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. No, but I really uh proud of us, dude. That whole setup on this whole podcast took not that long. It did take three hours. It usually does. Or two hours. It took like an hour. I'm proud. Right, just leave it. It's us. Just leave it. Just no, like we're this. good now. How we have oh, it clean around everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's fine now. It's easy. Let <laughs> me know that camera is yours. That camera is that. Like we got to organize. You know, it's nice. It's good. Ask for to come over and go. What the, the fuck? frig? Yeah, what's going on? What's this? Yeah, those pots look hella dope. The orange and blue ones. Those do look dope. You know what I mean? So what? Are we, what's those up? pots are La Crusade. La Crusade. La Crusade. These are all clad. Okay. Really good pots and pans. I think it's important when you get, if you really like to cook, to have the right utensils. For sure. A set of knives is probably the first thing I would recommend getting. So when you're chopping, it doesn't take forever and you're not ready to split your own wrist because it takes forever. That pot yeah, game. Cutco's, right? That's what you have? Pot game. Cutco. I have Cutco knives. We need to get sponsored by Cutco, yeah, those guys. Cutco knives are fucking. Cutco, look at us. Fucking razor blades. And I've had these Cutco knives for. 10, 11 years. Oh, oh. Never had them sharpen and they were still good. And they'll still cut your arm off. Yeah, it's super good. For real. So we go, uh, zombies happen. That's the first thing you grab other than the guns. That yeah, cut cone. Absolutely. Knife. Especially cutting that, raw meat. Yeah. yeah is that the first thing you grab, like a ninja? You know what I mean? Yeah. You ever see, see those? Problem, so I'm going to go over. I'm going to grab a knife at her. And it's going to be the smallest one. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. It's and, you know what's funny? I was like, I had like, I, I never being like, Man, what if I what what knife do I grab if something happens here? And I'd always grab that one. I would. A I don't know why. This for is defense, from, uh, dead, uh, Deadpool, right? Remember? Oh, it's right. The butter spreader. Yeah, the butter spreader. Is that the butter spreader? The butter spreader. It's a good show. That's a good movie. Yeah. Hey, you'll fuck someone up with that though. I see zombies getting murked with that thing. What was your? What would be your your like weapon? Of, like um, you know, of zombies. I actually frost Shotgun? Damn. No, I think no medieval, like no shooting, no gun, like a, oh, a, like a weapon. For sure, like a fucking six inch machete. Yeah, machete's dumb. Or like a or, or like that um like a samurai sword or something. Right. Samurai sword's probably the best deal. Yeah. Samurai sword. I also know? like a, a military entrenching tool. Yeah, that'd be yeah, good. It's multifunctional. It, multifunctional. Right. You can but mess you it kind of close because like, sure. Bam, yep. bam. You can well, dig uh, with it, you can cut uh trees mm-hmm. with it. You can make a spear. Wasn't jack. that's what the uh, the United States started using because they would lose battles with the Japanese who had bayonets and we didn't have bayonets or something random and well yeah, they had big old long bayonets too. They had really big right. Bayonets. We just I think we just didn't think we need them right, and so they didn't uh, in Japan right. Is that what it was? Yeah, I heard something about that. But they had but they had freaking bayonets in the Re- Revolutionary War. So why would they not have them yeah. then? Maybe they somebody decided like we don't need them. We don't need them. Get them out of the way because halfway through the war, did they have bayonets? Or is yeah. that wrong? Yes. I, I don't know. Something like that. World so they used the they had these shotguns. They were yeah, called French guns. Yeah, pretty devastating. Big long bayonets. Yeah, pretty neat. They use uh, the uh, every time I play Call of Duty, you could use that. I I'm call, mad if call I got Duty. bayoneted. Right? Like I'm starving. You just keep stabbed. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. Oh, I'm like, stabbed. Ah, Your mom's fuck. hungry. What's up, mom? Seven o'clock at night, and I haven't eaten. I haven't eaten either. I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet too. I haven't eaten at all. We're dying. Yeah, You're already. It was already. Starving. Oh shit! New so, caboodles. Let's go. All right. So we'll show the noodles in a sec. Those drinks are good. I'm that so beer hungry. was good. That beer was good. I'm kind of like it's like perfect right now. How I'm feeling. So. Ooh, yeah, we'll get we'll get a. <laughs> Dude, this, this pasta though, it's gonna be life changing. The Odie. pasta, the pasta. We need to get a little. Uh, we need to get Odie cooking. I feel like Odie's a really good cook, and he shows the his pasta. ways. He is. So I'll do the next. Well, you know what? The next episode, if we get it organized, me and Odie, we'll do it. Okay. Yeah. More like I'm gonna cook. But we, we just, we Dad to, and I will sit over there and, and visit. Yeah. So Odie and I will. We'll have to get organized, Odie. Look at me. Trying to make French. Odie, look at me. We gotta chicken. do it tomorrow. You're gonna make fried chicken. Fried chicken sounds good, bro. I'm actually down. Pie. You, 
You make fire ass fried chicken. Fried chicken. The best fried chicken I've ever had probably is your fried chicken. I've only made it once. Odie's chicken's fire. I made it once. We made it one time when we were younger, and it was super good. It was super, super like fried. You know what I mean? Do you know the secret about cooking or with uh, oil fried food? A lot. You have to keep to maintain the temperature at three hundred degrees. Yeah, like three twenty five. That way, it doesn't absorb the kit, the oil. Only right. a certain amount does it absorb. Ah. So my dad's straining the water out of the noodle. See now. steam. Ooh. Ooh. Well, ba ba Show this right here. Drip drip. Oh yeah, show him. That you gone. We'll do a, a little picture at the end of this, showing everything. Somebody at rooster. Oh yeah, it looks good. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, it looks good, though. That's the best. I want it burned. The burn part's the best. Right. Right. Crispy Parmesan. It's so good. I love crispy Parmesan. Yeah, so it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. But uh, all right. So we're ready to eat. So we're, we're done. We're done, Zos? We're done. Okay. All right. So, so let's get a little ender here. It's uh, We'll be back probably next week or maybe in a little mini pod this week, too. So hit us up on It's on the Kitchen at... Our Instagram follows us. It's hot in the kitchen. And our, you, our, what's our email? What email are we using? Yahoo. <laughs> yeah, it's hot in the kitchen at yahoo.com. Follow us there. Or email Yahoo. us recipes that we should do later on. We're going to do these certain ones for now. And then once we get all going, we'll do those recipes. So, anyways, yeah, we'll do the ender. You could pop the ba 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 Hit it. It's hot in the kitchen. Woo! Woo! I'm dying. Let's go. Oh, so Ow! Man, I'm hungry.